Okay, jumping into International Space Station VR. So this is a International Space Station tour. It's developed and published by the House of Fables. Let's jump in and try it out. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so that tells us different details there. The node 2. Now that's where we are in the International Space Station. Okay, Kibo. We have two windows. The help, of course, in the operation, but also for us, it's extremely nice to have a view to the outside of our Earth. Come and have a look to that external platform and how beautiful it is outside. And from the other window we can really have a magnificent view of our real beautiful planet. Enjoy together with me. Hmm. Okay, so there's like a little video there. So these ones here are this videos. This is the Gen Airlock, the airlock in the Japanese laboratory. And it's used to move stuff from inside the space station to outside the space station. Uh, most of the time it's small satellites that are grabbed by the Japanese robotic arm and deployed into their orbit. Uh, sometimes it's experiments that need to be installed outside the station and then maybe in the future even brought back in and downloaded back to Earth. So how does it work? Let's say that I need to uh, move something outside. So what I would do is, first of all, open this hatch. And then there is a slide cable inside that slides out into the volume. So I could come here to this control panel. And from here, I would be able to command the slide table to move into the actual gen cabin. Then I would have to install whatever it is that I need to move outside, for example, a small satellite onto the slide table and there are provisions to do that, dedicated interfaces. Then I would come back here, slide the table into the airlock and close the hatch. And at that point, with a combination of commands from this panel and these rotary switches that command a number of valves, I would be able to depressurize the airlock, so completely remove all the air that is inside to make vacuum. Uh, most of the air we are able to recuperate um, into, the, into the cabin with a pump to pump it back in. Uh, some beer, unfortunately, we do lose into outer space uh, whenever we do a, a, a task, an operation like this one. Uh, then I would come back here and, s and open the outer hatch. And once the outer hatch is open, slide the table outside. And then from the ground, typically, they would command the robotic arm to come and grab the this, this satellite, for example, for the deployment. Once that is done, the opposite thing. Slide the table back in, close the outer hatch, repressurize the airlock, and it's uh, ready to go for the next operation. Hmm, okay. Interesting. So different videos there that you can watch. Sort of a educational tour there. Okay, so where are we here? Oh, we're back at node 2. So it looks like there's lots of different videos that you can watch. I'm just going to look around. Okay. That's another video there. So we are in the destiny section. table is permanently deployed at this location here in the lab and is used as a restraint system in case we had to administer somebody's CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, and that of course would be a pretty bad medical emergency. It has a number of straps to restrain the patient. As you can imagine, in, in weightlessness you cannot just uh, lie somebody on the floor, they will just float away, so you need to restrain them. Uh, I'm not going to deploy all the straps, but they're simple straps like this one. 
and uh, I would like to show you how we can do um, CPR here in weightlessness. Uh, one option would be to um, to try and use the you know the, the standard position that you would use on the ground. And there are a number of restraints here that are actually meant for the helper if if the helper chooses to use this technique. Another option here in the okay, that's interesting. So that's actually a CPR table. Though. I didn't even notice that. Let's go to this section. Okay, what are we here? Node one. Oh, there's someone actually there. Zarya. So these are all different sections of the International Space Station. It's pretty interesting. So it's sort of like um, how Google Earth VR is. It's not really full 3D, but it's kind of, um, yeah, sort of 2D-ish pictures. Still pretty immersive. Though. There's a VEDS there. It's a smash. I think each wing's like a, yeah, different country. Got that guy there working on something. Engineer of some sort. Now, for half a year, uh, there is a European visitor, which is the automated transfer vehicle. And this is connected on the back side of the space station. So that's actually ESA, European Space Agency, this video. So uh, we have uh, progress, uh, the Russian cargo ship uh, for, uh, for fueling the engines of the space station and for boosting. But ATV has a, uh, has a great uh, position to, to put uh, the space station uh, in a higher orbit because we lose a bit of altitude every time. So here we are storing it now with, uh, with uh, yeah, things we don't need anymore be it phone, be it uh, uh, trash. Hmm, that's interesting. So I think that's back to where we came from. Okay, just trying to check anything that we haven't looked at yet. Let's go this way. So we're back here. We'll go down the other end. I think we reached the end of this one. Kaibo. Uh, is there one more section? Okay, I think that's the end here. Okay. So we've pretty much looked at every room. Okay, we haven't been in here yet. Columbus Swing. Hmm. What does that go to? Node 2. We'll go back to Columbus. To node two. This is 
malice. Sometimes we call it the monster, just because it's so big and it's actually pretty complicated to assemble. Um, the purpose of malice is to study muscles, and in particular, muscle atrophy in space. And now it's, uh, it's of course, all tucked away and, uh, and sleeping in its, uh, in its lap. But uh, during the Futura mission, I had the chance of actually assemble it and uh, do some calibration with it. That's fascinating. Yeah, so there's a lot of different educational videos here that you can um, check out. I'm going to leave it here for now. It was a brief tour of the International Space Station in VR. This one's available on Steam free to play. I'll leave a link down in the description for it. See you guys in the next video.